Hello and welcome to the setup guide for Building Maker. In this little guide, I'm gonna pass you through whatever you can do with Building Maker itself. First off, don't forget to check out the manual in which I explain literally any setting and whatever you have to set into. Also, when you want to create your own building assets by using 3D models, make sure they are modular. If you don't know what modularity means, just feel free to check out the 3D models provided in this asset package. There are 10 in total for you. So first off, we go and navigate into the Building Maker prefabs. And then here you find Building Maker prefabs. Make sure you drag this in an empty scene. Once you have done that, you're going to see all the possible and necessary settings for Building Maker. First off, you're going to find piece width and height. This is the actual model size used in Building Maker. Next one is the minimum and maximum wall amount per side. So, meaning what is the max and minimum wall, wall amount to be used in the next created building. You can set this one to anything you want to. For example, somewhere between, let's say, 2 and 5. Next one is the minimum height amount, means how high is the building going to be. In this case, it somewhere between two floors and five floors. In the first floor, you're going to have to put in all the prefabs, which can be only at the first floor, meaning all the walls which have uh, cellar windows, normal walls, if you want them to be in the first floor, as well as walls which can only be in the first floor, like wh whenever they have a specific ceiling or whenever they have specific elements at the bottom, like yeah, trailings or something like that. Also, in the first floor, you want to see how much doors you want to have inside. So the maximum is going to be one per side. If you want to, you can choose a higher number over here as an example five. In that case, it could be a maximum of five doors inside over here. But it does not mean that you always will have five there because the chance to get a door on a side is one out of five in that case 20 percent so this is coded in if you want to code in that go into the actual script and change that random pick over here otherwise you can say okay if i want to have up to five you can always end up with a zero because it is a, a chance based over here then of course in the door wall pieces if you have different walls with door pieces inside you are able to change or get into more different ones. For example, if you have uh, different designs of walls, you can put them in here. In the second floor and higher, you're going to put in all your balcony pieces and the normal wall pieces you probably also want to have in the first floor. So I got a plain wall, a balcony wall, as well as wall window, uh, window walls. The window walls can also be part in the first floor, just so you know. In the corner, you're going to put in all the corner pieces, which are directly filling up a corner. Because the tiles or the walls will not stick directly to each other, they will be, there will be a little gap. You're going to see that once you use that script over here. Also, you have the possibility to decide if you want to have a roof tile over here. Currently, I just have a simple cube, which is 1, 1 in X and Z. And the height is going to be determined by you. Mine is going to be 20. You're going to see that once you go into the model prefabs. Same for the street. The street is going to use the same one, but it extends it by 2 meters for each side. So in total of 4, so you have some street around the building visible. The only downside is, at the moment in this package, the material, whenever there is one on it, is not going to be stretched automatically or tiled automatically based on the size of that, since the roof and the street are just scaled up or down. For the ceilings, you're going to ha have the possibility to enable the uh, ceiling settings over here and define the height of the ceiling, which is going to be the height of the model. This contains the ceiling themselves, which is going to have the same width as a wall has, and a ceiling corner, which is going to fit in the corner again. So that is literally everything you need to know to set up whatever. Now you just click on Create Building button, which is currently located over here and greenly tinted. 
Once I do so, it's going to give us an automatic generation based on the setting we made over here, as well as the given prefabs. So, as you can see, even if I have a maximum door, door per side to be 5, I don't have two walls with any door. And even the back sides, they don't contain any walls here with doors as well. What you can now do is, since they have been all automatically created a empty game object with a new building, all of your prefabs can still be changed over here so you don't lose the connection of all these yeah, actual prefabs. So whenever you do a prefab change, they will automatically apply to already existing buildings. You can always go and delete this and create a new one. And you can do this multiple times right now. As you can tell, they are going to be all created on the same spot. What you also can see, not all do have doors. The doors are going to be the ones at the bottom over here. So if you go and create or want to have a chance for multiple doors, you can actually try to fit in any pos yeah, any numbers over there, but it does not actually automatically mean that you will have this and that amount of doors over here. If I do some changes, for example, I want to have a higher amount or let's say a smaller amount of height, but let's say a higher amount of walls. I can also say I want to have buildings which are a bit larger, for example, maybe 10 by 10 or 5 by 10. So 5 is going to be another size or a minimum size over here. So now auto automatically generating this building, as you can see, the minimum amount is 5. It has one door on the side one door or the other and there's another door. Also as you can see it uses different door settings. So this one has one specific door. This one here uses a higher door which has stairs in front of it. So this is based on again whichever yeah, buildings or modular uh, pieces you're going to use. Let's create buildings without the roof. So you see the inside. So I go down and disable create roof. I can do the same with the street, by the way. So I'm going to go and scroll up, create building. So as you can see, the insides are empty. We don't have any roof and no street around it. So you can always take this building now and place it onto your own street. No issue with that. If you don't like the ceiling parameter, you can also disable ceiling. For the ceiling, this is going to happen for each single floor as well as for the roof piece. So as you can see there are no ceilings now in between. If I do activate this option and create a new building, you're gonna see the difference. The secondly created building now has these ceilings in each single floor. And this is the, necess the most necessary piece or the ne most necessary setting for the ceiling. If you have higher ceilings which are not 50 centimeters in height, you can choose so. For example, if I uh, switch that to be a, a 1, I'm going to have a gap in between them. So if I go to Building Maker again and create another building with a higher ceiling setting, you can see that there is a gap in between them. So based on the ceiling height, you're going to have in your 3D model, this is going to be generated. It's not reading the ceiling height on your own its own. It does take the input you're going to give it. So you have even more freedom to put things in between if necessary. If you don't like that, of course, go in and change the code to it and use it for your own yeah, needing over there. So that's basically everything you need to know about creating buildings on your own adding roof and street if one if you want to just click on create and you are able to build hundreds and thousands of different buildings with different settings completely randomized over here so as you can see this side here does contain four doors because well the luck was on the side for the doors at this particular side